Andrew, it's been quite a bit of a roller coaster ride, at least for us trying to keep up with you guys. Ever since we heard the story about this Kiwi that moved to Italy to go and teach Italians how to make coffee machines. I was with a company in New Zealand that was the sole distributor for the machines. The Italian company ECM were having a few financial problems, so my business partner from New Zealand and I made a pitch to the Italian company to buy the rights to build the small machines. And that was now 10 years ago. With that transaction came the original owner's son, and now the Italian Daniele Berry. Brook and I own the company. It's quite a crowded market now. We've really worked hard to lift the standard of the machines. Where we put a lot of effort and value into the machines. So for instance, the front panel of the machine, every machine is engraved there where the on-off switch goes. So that goes from the producer of the stainless steel to a guy that engraves all that, then to he paints it, and then it comes back. It adds a huge amount of complexity, and no one even knows that by the on-off switch, that's engraved, whereas we could put a sticker on, no one would know the difference, but it's not what we do. The center of the steam taps are all brass and chromed. We could use plastic, no one would even know, but we've got to keep the bar really, really high. Whenever you make something, you put a little bit of yourself in making that. When somebody buys a rocket machine, what values comes with it? We've got a premium product. We've got a premium brand. We don't want to just sell the machine and that's it. Those machines should last 25, 30 years. We want people to love the fact that they own a rocket. That's the same as me. I, if I go somewhere, I want the level of service to be good, I want the food to be good, I want the coffee to be good. I don't have overly high expectations, I don't think, and I'm not a hard taskmaster, but if I'm going to spend the money, the sum of all parts has to be good. You're making a little bit of a departure on where you guys started with home machines. Now you're starting to do commercial machines. Is that a big change for you? It's not a big change, because we started with the domestic portfolio and took that to a, another level. Then we started with commercial. It's kind of finding our place within that market. We just want to keep doing good things better. If we can keep that level of production, if we can keep that level of uh, finish and quality going, that's important to us. We would rather do less numbers but make better machines.